Hey guys, welcome again to Console Crap. I'm here to do a public service as always and a warn you away from all the abominations that somehow made their way inside the retro gaming industry and the 1980s was a good time for kids who were into martial arts and fighting films. You had great movies like Bloodsport and as cheesy as what it was, everyone wanted to be Jean-Claude Van Damme after watching that movie. It was amazing just to see him in an underground fighting syndicate just absolutely kicking ass. And ever since that movie, as kids, we wanted to experience it. And obviously as 7, 8, 9 year olds watching an R-rated movie, not allowed, you know, we'd be looking for that outlet so we could feel that same experience and then finally in the arcades in 1990 a game called Pit Fighter came out and while it wasn't the world's best fighting game it was the first fighting game that featured motion captured actors as as the characters inside the game that you could control it was just good old button bashing fun it was really really good and for the first time ever we got to experience underground fighting for ourselves so when I found out that there was finally a Super Nintendo version, naturally I got very excited and I thought, hey, let's check it out and see what it's like. Well, I kind of regret that I did. So we're going to be playing Pit Fighter today guys, so I really enjoyed this game in the arcade, so let's see how the console version holds up on Super Nintendo. So we've got a choice of fighters here, um, yep, yeah, they're all the same as the arcade game, so I'll pick Ty, and we're in the... Oh wow, okay, well, one thing I noticed straight away, guys, is the graphics look nothing like the arcade version. They're really, really poor. Um, you can sort of see in a very subtle way that the motion-captured actors that were in the original arcade game are there, but the resolution just really looks taken out of this whole experience compared to the arcade version, and... In the arcade version, their environments and the crowds are really alive, and everything is just blending in with this. Like, there's just absolutely no soul in this game, on first impressions. What what the hell was... Could Super Nintendo not bring out a better game than this? Gosh, there were so many Pit Fighter games, and it just looks absolutely terrible. Well, I've just finished a level, but I, I really don't care, to be honest. But, okay, we'll keep going. Um, the buttons are, are pretty much the same. There's a, a jump button, a punch button, and a kick button. Um, you can do various suplexes and combos. I don't know how to pull them off, so it looks like I've died here. So I'll just hit the continue button, no problem. Okay, game over. Where's the continue screen? Uh, there's no continue screen. Are you kidding? So, one fight and that's it. Wow. Wow. Well, okay, we'll have one more go. Man. This game really, really sucks. How could they screw up the arcade version so bad? Hopefully Buzz here can do some damage. Yeah, I remember in the arcade version, you could pick up weapons, throw boxes, do all sorts of cool shit. And, um, what was really cool, too, is if you got too close to the crowd, they'd throw you back in the fight. Like, the crowd actually served a purpose in that, and really, I feel like I'm just having a play fight with someone on timber flooring. It's just dreadful. Man, sometimes some games should just not be ported, hey. Wow. I, look, I, I think I wouldn't be doing a public service, guys, if, if I told you to not stay away from this game. Wow. There's a country singer reject here. That's it, this game is... This this game is... This game has just broken my heart. How can they screw up one of my arcade favourites so bad? You guys have to stay away from this game at all costs. Well, as you can see, guys, I wasn't happy at all. And what was going to turn into an article for our new column, One Game Only, 
Uh, it's turned into console crap instead. It was an absolutely dreadful experience and you have to stay away from Pit Fighter on the Super Nintendo at all costs. So if you appreciate this message guys, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us and make sure you comment below. We'll see you next time with more console crap.